Patrons of the arts know Bubble and Brown Sugar. The Black Rep is ready to keep you safe and dancing again. Season 45 opens in just a few days. So let's go ahead and talk to Brian McKinley. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Well, before we get into Bubble and Brown Sugar, tell us about the opening production for this year. Oh, so Sweat is a Pulitzer Prize winning play by Lynn Nottage. She, um, wrote this play uh, for the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. And it's about um, this group of friends who come to this bar to um, decompress after a long day of work. Um, and it, it, sort of, it really touches on race, class, um, and like the changing times. And we're looking right now with Bubble and Brown Sugar. Uh, you've had some iconic titles on that stage. What has it meant to you to have these productions in the past, especially during the pandemic? I'm sorry, say that again? Sure, you've had some iconic labels, or some iconic titles on the stage like Bubble and Brown Sugar. What has it meant to you to have these productions in the past, especially during the pandemic? Um, so we, uh, so this past year uh, was uh, sort of tough for us, but we um, sort of pivoted and tried to continue to put content out there for our patrons. Um, we, we tried our best to sort of stay active and change with the, with the times. It, it was um, very important to us to remain constantly in contact with our patrons and to continue producing content um, that like fits with, the, with our mission statement. Well, we have two trains running some production pictures from that. What did you learn from being involved with that play? So with two trains running, um, it's it's uh, one of August Wilson's uh, great works. Um, it really it sort of gives you a piece of history from the time, like each of his plays, um, and it really showed you how um, black life was in that time, uh, which is uh, similar to our closing show of the season, Jitney. Um, it and I uh, in speaking with uh, one of our patrons. Um, it, she's so excited about it because it, it truly sh uh, shows how black life was in that time. And she remembers the Jitney cab services that black people had to do because they couldn't get um, cab service. They couldn't get cab service and they couldn't get the so-called hack licenses either in order to uh, drive cabs. So that, that is very critical. You've also had spell in the past. Uh, you mentioned your patrons. Uh, tell me a little bit about how your patrons were able to pivot with you uh, last season. Absolutely. So we modified a lot of our programming to go virtual. Um, and so in September last year, we um, produced a few virtual programs, um, a couple of Zoom readings and a, a Zoom play, and had a couple of Zoom discussions with playwrights um, and uh, theater artists uh, from, from across the nation. Uh, we also, uh, you saw Bubbling Brown Sugar, that was a part of our virtual gala last year. Um, we sort of uh, so, uh, socially distanced and um, safely pulled in performers to um, re to be recorded and streamed live for free for for everyone um, to give them a little piece of the black rep uh, to remember that we, we were coming back from this. Well, I know that a lot of the patrons definitely appreciate that. Everyone, the black, the black rep season 45 opens Wednesday. Tickets are on sale right now and we'll have a link at fox2now.com.